Hi folks, uh, this morning I figured I'd just do a little demonstration, I suppose, of the uh, disc uh, discriminator tap on the uh, Unin Bearcat BCT7. Uh, basically, what works, how to you know hook it up, install it, and uh, programs that can work with it. Uh, right now, I just got raw audio from. Name raw audio, external volume from the uh, Realistic Pro 2022, and that is just feeding directly to the sound card, and uh, this is being decoded with a DC DSD, DSD plus. This is a DMR transmission. It's DMR tier three, but we um, noticed there's a lot of errors. And I've got the volume turned pretty much down to nothing. So, um, I'm just going to show you the difference between just regular sound from a Pro 2022 and the uh, raw audio from a discriminator tap on the BCT7 and see the difference in the uh, what is being displayed or decoded on the screen here. So uh, let's just swap her over here and you'll see the difference. Right now this is just uh, audio from the external speaker feeding the computer and you wouldn't and you will notice all the errors coming up. And now this is audio from the discriminator tap. This is raw audio from the uh, onboard uh, chip pin 9 and uh, you can see a big difference what's being sent here so what we're going to do in this video we're going to show you or I'm going to show you how to install a discriminator tap in the Unit and Bearcat BCT7 I've already got discriminator tap uh, installed, but I'm going to show you what I did to make this thing work. Apparently, uh, there's been a few people online asking about the Unit and Bearcat BCT7 on how to add a discriminator tap to this particular scanner, and uh, there doesn't appear to be any real information out there on how to do it. It's actually quite easy. But let's uh, let's put her on the bench here, take her covers off, and we shall show you. What I did to make this thing uh, work. A quick Google search would show you uh, very little about the BCT7 itself, uh, other than operating manuals and stuff. Uh, there's one little website here, Universal Radio, it tells you a little bit about the, uh, the radio, what it covers, separate bands, which is pretty basic. Um, so we'll go back, we'll search for this, take that in, discriminator tap, reference, radio reference, and we will get, uh, Jotex 1. This was, uh, posted on March 30th, 2011, and it says, um, would anyone want to hear have a detailed info on where to find a discriminator tap for the unit in a BCT7? Can't seem to find one. Uh, for, uh, can seem to find pin IC2-9. <laughs> uh, this guy, Weatherhead Fred, hmm, can't find the BCT7, but I'm relatively new to scanners. Look here. For BC760 XLT. And then another guy here. Um, ST uh, dash Bob. Uh, it says IT uh, IC2 is probably marked near the chip. Pin 9 on IC2 is what you want. IC with the dot on the corner indicates pin 1. Pins on four sided chips go counterclockwise from the dot. Two sided chips go down the left side, uh, then the right side. Best not to try to solder right to the chip. Count your way to pin 9 and see if there's attached. Uh, See if the test point is attached to it somewhere. 
But uh, according to this guy, he says it's uh, pin 9 of IC2. And the uh, chip you're looking for is the uh, MC3361. That's the actual chip uh, product number you're looking for is MC3361. It could be marked anything on the board in regards to IC numbers, but MC3361 is the discriminator chip that you're looking for in the BCT7. And I will show you where it's to. Alright, so that is the uh, MC uh, chip right here. The MC3361. And uh, again, looking at the front of the radio, this front of the scanner. It's on the top board, under the top cover, and uh, you can see how I got my uh, lead soldered, connected to pin 9, and the ground is just taken off the capacitor at a convenient location. Uh, the IC, I don't think was actually marked on the board, I don't believe, but uh, in any event, that is where this chip is located. In the front half of the board, the front of the rear scanner is here, and your chip is here. And pin 9 is on the top left hand corner. That's where you need to solder onto, right there. Okay, so I just brought my uh, shield cable up. You don't really need shield cable, I just used it just because I had it there. And I brought it up to here. I uh, had a little terminal strip, convenient spot there to mount it on, or to screw and everything over to here. Uh, so what you need is a 10k resistor uh, the 10k resistor goes in series with your audio out um, and you've got your ground over here and the low capacitor capacitor right here between your ground and your audio but that's pretty much it drill a hole in the back of your scanner that's where I got my input to got our marked uh, audio on top for external speaker that don't change and then you got your disc which is discriminating tip tap discriminator tap on the bottom so that's how I got her set up in the BCT C7 works for me I've got no problems with it and uh, if it works you know it works does it <laughs> if it ain't broke don't fix it so works for me and that's all that matters anyways that's, uh, that's how you add the discriminator tap to a Unit and Bearcat BCT7. Um, nice little scanner, I gotta say. But, uh, yeah, pretty easy to work on. Anyways, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video.